Well, I'm back in the basement for an update and to finish this project. Remember last week, I took off a couple of porch boards and I backfilled an abandoned groundhog hole. And this hole went all the way from under the porch to the basement where there was a stone knocked out and they actually came down into the basement when the house was left empty for quite a few years. So I backfilled that hole with concrete, although it didn't work its way all the way down. Let me show you what I've got here. Now, the, there was a hole in the bottom as well here, so I just took some thin set mortar and I just kind of filled that in. Now there's a remaining hole here, and there's a cavity in there that's pretty big. There's actually, there are two red bricks in there, so that's how big the cavity is. And um, I was gonna try and pump concrete in there, but I have this idea, and some folks made the comment on the video as well. I've always wanted to try this Fast 2K expanding foam. Now this is deck and post anchor, so uh, it says it replaces an entire bag of concrete. What I like about this is that it's going to expand. So I'm going to pour it into this top hole and see how much it takes. And then I've just got some pieces of plastic. This is actually shipping material, but these are the little big bubbles, really. And I'm going to stuff the shipping material in there to hopefully hold back the, uh, the expanding foam and that will fill that cavity, uh, keep any critters from coming in, and maybe even help with any water that's coming in too. So let's get this bag opened and see how it works. Now the way this stuff works, it's a two-part mixture. It's in one bag and there is a, a piece that keeps the two parts separated. So what you do is you snap the bag to release that clip and when you do that, it opens it up and the two parts begin to mix together. And you're supposed to rub them against a corner surface like a post or a corner of a deck, or I'm gonna use the stairs back here. And that mixes it in, you do that for just 30 seconds and then you have to cut the corner and pour it in. So it's pretty quick uh, or limited working time uh, and I'm just by myself here. So I'm gonna try and do that get the camera moved over to the hole so you can see that as we go. So hopefully this all goes well. Okay, I'm going to snap the bag to release this clip. Then I'm going to rub it against this stair to mix it. Here goes nothing. All right. Mixing in. Mixed it for 30 seconds or more. Hopefully it's mixed up pretty well. I don't feel it expanding yet, so that's okay. And then I don't have scissors here, so I'm just gonna tear the corner here. There we go. And then I'm just gonna pour it right in this hole. Squeeze it out, hopefully. See it coming out, but I guess it is. Yeah, it's coming out. That's well, warm. I might have to bring in a second bag. I only bought one bag of this stuff, but it might take more than I thought. This is kind of neat. I can see in there it's actually growing like the blob. So I still don't know if it's going to be enough. Probably not based on what I'm seeing here, but it definitely is expanding and probably doubling in size. I love the fact though that this is so liquidy that it's going to fill all the uh, cracks and crevices back there. But yeah, you can see it definitely rising to the top there. So that means this whole cavity down here behind this is going to be filled up and then there's just more in there. And then again, my hope would be if I get a bag of it back there and cover this up, it would actually grow up into any cavities and you certainly you know you can't unless you have a pump you can't pour concrete up but the foam should actually work with pressure and work its way up tell you what let's pull this out okay so it just came to the bottom of that cavity i can see it back there a little bit so yeah we're going to put a whole second bag in there and see where that goes 
Well, I ran out to my local hardware store and I bought another bag. They didn't have Fast 2K, they had this Sika brand, which is essentially the same, cost the same. This says on the bag that it's equivalent to two 50 pound bags of concrete. So if it's that much volume, that's a lot. This one doesn't have the tab in the middle. You basically just pop the two bags by rolling one into the other. Same process though, you mix it up the same way, cut off the corner and pour it in. So we'll do that and see if that fills the rest of the void. All right, so this one says to roll it, to burst the seal. There it goes. And then, just like we did before, mix it together. Okay, here we go. This one's a little more a different color. It's kind of greenish. Oh, it's really, holy smokes. This one's expanding much faster. I'm just kind of forcing that in there. Leave the bag there like that as it expands. Oh, it's pushing out that bag. That's all right, we'll let it expand into those cavities. I can tell this one is more of an open cell foam, so it's not as structural as Fast 2K, which I don't think Fast 2K is really structural, but uh, that one is made for deck posts. This one really was essentially for a mailbox post. So I can see it's very, a lot more porous. It's got bigger bubbles there. Uh, it expands a lot more. So that's okay for this because, again, this is not structural in any way. This is just to fill that cavity. So that's okay. But definitely a, a different composition. The product's a different composition than... Fast 2K. I'm glad I have these gloves on. This stuff is sticky. All right. So we take a peek. Oh yeah, it's already getting sticky. Oh, that's great. Looks like Rice Krispie treats. Pretty cool. But again, you can see the two different types of materials here. This Sika brand has a lot of fine bubbles in it. So it's probably, I guess that's more open cell versus closed cell, I don't know, but a lot more bubbles where the Fast 2K is a much denser looking material. Here's a little drop of the Fast 2K that was on the ground and it has already hardened. It's only been less than an hour and you can see it's not soft like foam it actually kind of crumbles all right it's been a good couple of hours and both products are hardened at this point and they're very very similar the Sika brand again has a lot more bubbles in it so I guess it's more porous but it has the same consistency you'll notice here it's not uh, spongy like foam insulation see how it just crumbles apart and that's the same way as the uh, Fast 2K. So it's very different than the type of foam insulation that you might think. So it was kind of a surprise to me uh, to see the different type of consistency here. But it filled in that cavity and I think it did exactly what I wanted it to. Well interesting takeaways here today. This was the first time I ever used this product and uh, I thought it was pretty fun. Probably the most interesting thing to me was to learn that it is a brittle product. It's not a foam, it's more of a dense, hardened product. So uh, I had always wondered, like, if you put a post in there, how come it's not going to be, like, wiggling back and forth if it's soft foam? But it's actually very dense and very hard. Uh, 
I think it worked for this purpose, and I'm glad I got a chance to try it. I'm probably going to use it on a post in the future and try it with some other projects, but for now, this was kind of fun. So, quick little one here today. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you being here. If you enjoyed the content, please give it a thumbs up. If you've not yet subscribed to the channel, I invite you to join us. Thanks for being here, and I look forward to seeing you next time.